Hey everyone, welcome to Shopping Saturday. I do these every single week. It's either a haul or an unboxing video. This week is actually pre-recorded. I am recording this on Wednesday. I never record videos this soon in advance or that far in advance, but um, I did have a procedure done, so I'm not gonna be able to film, you know, Thursday or Friday. So, happy Saturday to everyone. I did wanna mention um, during this haul that I am doing Lent this year. So, um, for Lent, I'm giving up buying makeup or beauty related products for, um, it's, it's actually like 46 days, I think this year. And, um, it is going to be hard, but I do have a swap coming up, so that'll help. And, um, I'll also, I'll still be doing shopping Saturdays because I get Wantable Box, Ipsy, and the new Beauty Test Tube. So I'll probably do those unboxings for the next few shopping Saturdays. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is stuff that I purchased earlier in the week and I just wanted to share it with all of y'all. So I got some stuff from the drugstore, one thing from Mac and then that was weird. And then another few items from Sephora. So drugstore first, boring. I got some bobby pins. Yeah, so exciting. And then I got the Instant Hair Refresh Batiste Dry Shampoo in the color Dark and Deep Brown, which I've never had to buy this color because I'm usually blonde. But with this new hair, I got the deep brown one and I'm excited to try that out. I haven't tried it yet. And then I got two things that are newer at the drugstore. I have looked for this darn Milani Baked Blush in Delice. I don't know. I, I'm going to say it like Dora says it, Delicioso in Delicioso Pink. If you have kids, you know how Dora says it. So I'm excited about this blush because I literally went to like 15 different Walgreens for it. Oh, it's beautiful. And I cannot wait to use it. So I love Milani's baked blushes. Uh, Coralina is, is it called Coralista? No, that's the benefit one. What's Luminoso is another one of my favorite Milani blushes. And then the other thing that is new to the drugstore is this Maybelline color tattoo. And we never get these limited edition ones until way late in the game. But this one is in the color Caramel Cool. And I saw Laura at Miss Lola Lynn. She talked about these, the new color tattoos. I think she got all of them or at least three or four of them. And she said that this one is the most unique shade. So it is very, very pretty. And um, like she said, it would look great under Max tan pigment. And that was actually on my Friday favorites yesterday. So uh, I love that pigment. That's my favorite pigment from Mac. So I'm interested to try that combination together. It looks really pretty in the pot. And then moving on to Mac, like I said, I only got one thing from Mac and I've heard kind of some mixed reviews about this because it's the mineralized skin finish in Stereo Rose. And I have heard people say that it's not like the original Stereo Rose, but then I've also heard people say that all of these MSFs are different. Like none of them are quite made the same. So I'm not sure what I think about it, but oh, how beautiful is it? Like it's just so beautiful and I had to buy it because it's just heaven in a little makeup pot. Yes, I just went there. Oh, this um, is going to be so hard to not buy makeup stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then moving on to Sephora. I got to get a drink, y'all. You know what? I'm on. I didn't get this. I got these two things. Bobbi Brown had a 20% off of their site. So I picked up two things that I've been dying to have. I got the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Camel. Jaclyn Hill always talks about this, this specific color. So anything Jaclyn Hill talks about, you have to try, right? And uh, it looks really, really, really ugly in the, in the container, doesn't it? I don't know, but I have not used it. I will let you guys know. And then the other thing I got, this was an accident, y'all. I meant to get the blush in, um, is it called Baby Pink or something like that? I'm not sure. But I actually got the blush in Nude Peach. Yes. And I actually really like it because I was going to 
send it back and be like, um, I accidentally got ordered the wrong one, but I really like this shade. And um, I don't know, I'm keeping it because I have Illamasqua's Katie, and I think the, the baby pink, the Bobbi Brown pink, is kind of along the same lines as that one. Anyways, that's my justification for keeping this one. And then the next thing I got, okay, on to Sephora. And I only got one thing from Sephora, but I cashed in some points and they gave me some samples. This thing I have been dying to get. Um, and I even, after I got this, I, I did an online purchase for this thing. And then after I got it, I went to Sephora to get another one to me and they were sold out. So at my Sephora, but it's still online, so I might order it, but it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, and I got the color Ethereal Glow. I got this color because I used the Ethereal, I don't know if I'm saying that right, the light to set my under eye concealer every single day, so I thought it would pair good with that. It's so beautiful. I told Brad, I was like, you need to fill these blushes because they're amazing. And he, he felt them. He was like, oh, they're so soft. They're very silky. They go on beautifully. I meant to, I already have a ton of blush on, so I don't really want to overdo it, but it's so beautiful. It just, it, I have dry skin. Whoo, holy blush. But, and I already had some blush on, but it is really, really, really pretty, and it kind of gives you a glow, which I love with these hourglass hourglass powders. I have the um, the one single ethereal light powder, and then I have the trio, the limited edition trio that came out around Christmas time. So, um, and then let's get in. I cashed in some points. I think this was, I don't know what this was. It might have just been a rouge. Um, point perk or stuff. This wasn't even points. This was just free. So it was the, it was a three pack and it came with the Marc Jacobs mascara, which I have not tried yet and I haven't opened it yet. Um, it's, it's one of those gel type mascaras. So I'm interested to try that because Marc Jacobs stuff has been hit or miss for me. I've loved some of it like the eyeshadow and the lipsticks and the blushes, but I did not like the foundation at all. It did not work for me. Um, and then along with this, I got the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which I have another sample of this, so I might just keep this and give it away in a giveaway or to a friend or something like that. And then what I was most excited about with this little free gift was the Givenchy La Rouge lipstick. And let me just say this packaging is so adorable. Um, and the little lipstick is so cute. I've never tried Givenchy anything. So I'm excited to try that little lipstick. And it looks like a really, really pretty color. So um, I'll let y'all guys know what I think about that. And then moving on, she threw in this, the Lauren Mercier face palette polish polish um and I didn't ask for this or anything like we were already to the register and she was like oh I'm going to give you a sample of the Laura Mercier face face polish that's hard to say and I was like what is it and she's like I, I don't know isn't that weird so I got home and I looked I thought maybe it was like a foundation or something and I got home and looked and it's actually a cleanser by Laura Mercier and I've never tried any of her like skincare stuff so I am excited that she threw that in even though she didn't know what it was. I thought that was really funny when she told me that. And then for samples I got the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. Uh, I almost bought this a few weeks back and um, I'll probably just use this dim the light one but I'm excited to try this. I'm really excited to try this. So let me know if you guys want to see like my first impression of it because I can do that. That would be fun. And then I picked up this or I added this as one of my free sample things online. It's the Anastasia <laughs> Brow Powder Duo. And uh, I have never tried their brow powder, believe it or not. I have tried their pencil, whatever it's called, brow whiz. And I didn't love it, but I was going to use it and I lost it. So I don't, how do you lose stuff like this? It's crazy. But I will definitely try this because everybody talks about it. And then the very last thing was this YSL all-in-one BB cream and then the foundation. So I've tried the BB cream before and I didn't really like it that much. And plus this is medium. So I don't know why they sent me medium, but 
Uh, yeah, I'll probably just give this to someone to try out. So that's it for my haul this week. It was so fun um, shopping because I won't be able to do it for another five, five, six weeks. So I'm nervous about that. But I do have a giveaway that just uploaded on Thursday. I will link that below. And um, yeah, I have, oh, I wanted to mention real quick, um, I have had a ton of requests for how I lost over 100 pounds in my weight loss journey and what I ate and what I ex what exercises I did and how I've maintained for a year and all of that stuff. So I did a whole video that will go up on Monday about my weight loss and how I did it and what I did. And because if I can do it, y'all can do it too. So be looking out for that and I will see you guys then. Bye.